Welcome to experiment 3, which is about coefficients of kinetic and static friction. The purpose of this experiment is to find the coefficients of static and kinetic friction between an inclined surface and an object. The setup is composed of three materials, namely wood, fabric and plastic. We will also be providing you with a riser, an inclined plane, and a protractor. This experiment will be held in two parts. Part 1 investigates the static case, which implies that there will be no acceleration. Hence, with the help of Newton's second law, one will be able to derive an expression for static friction coefficient as shown. Part 2 will be about the kinetic case, meaning that our object will attain acceleration this time. Applying Newton's second law to our new scenario and combining this with the equation of motion will give us the final expression for mu k. Mu k represents the kinetic friction coefficient. Let us watch the video regarding the experimental procedure. You will be provided with wood, fabric and plastic. Let us start from the cart with the wooden base. Adjust the angle in such a way that the cart just starts moving. You need to make sure that it moves very slowly. You may decrease the angle either by lowering the height of the riser or by moving the riser away from the point where the timer and the gate are standing. Measure the angle by using a protractor and make sure that you hold it in parallel with the inclined plane while doing so. You must subtract the value aligned with the string from 90 degrees and this will give you the critical angle. Record theta critical into your logbook. You shall now repeat the same procedure for fabric. For being able to obtain the critical value for the new material, you need to readjust the height at which your object will just start moving. Achieving this may take a while. Now, measure the critical angle for fabric and record it. Finally, repeat the same procedure for plastic. You must keep in mind that plastic should attain the lowest theta value. You can move on to the second part, which will be about the kinetic case. Adjust the angle in such a way that it exceeds 12 degrees. This will enable our object to experience acceleration. Record this angle and double check whether it has a higher value than theta critical for plastic or not. If not, you must readjust your angle.
By keeping the angle fixed after this point, you may start obtaining your data. The data to be observed will be the time. You first need to find the reference point at which the timer starts showing some value on its screen. Having done so, move the cart 100 cm backwards, press Null and let it go. Record the associated time value into your logbook. Press Null again and this time move 80 cm backwards from the reference point. Record the new time value and repeat the same procedure for the rest of the requested distance values. You have now reached end of experiment 3. Good luck.